Hi everyone, I'm Ryan. Deep story. Remember correctly, hang on, I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit because I think that was causing a few audio problems, is that the volume was just plain old too high. Oh, something like that. It is fine. If we're in Arthur's house here. Booster as well. And we're going to head to the egg store. It's a teleporter. Alright. Labyrinth, you'll notice. And this is this is new to Professor. This is and you can only really do this if you have the It'll you'll it'll down here in this room here. Um, and this room actually is that one where there was that difficult jump that I was talking about with the red dot here that indicates. We should jump from. This is down here where Professor Booster fell, and he walked down here and repaired the teleport, which was. I'd have been able to do that if you'd gone down and checked for some reason. But the important thing is that's working. You'll notice now, um, he would have given you if you'd gone down there a better version of the booster. Come up here. Your life and missiles. I'm gonna go over here and save too, because the one thing I'm doing here. So it's weird to be able to go straight to uh, an easier, just just one random part of the labyrinth to the store. It's just gonna kind of head over here. Especially since I'm that one's all up. I gotta get the go. The reason we're here is not for this, but I am gonna save here. It'll be much better very soon. Walk. Hey, this is the labyrinth shop. Unfortunately, the burger bloke and blah, 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 blah. the same thing as last time. Look, I'll give you this. And the whimsical star. Look at that. The whimsical stars are actually quite helpful. We'll use I'm using the blade. Alright, so we're gonna head back to Arthur's house as fast as we humanly can because this is annoying. I've really got to kind of be careful here. I have my back from getting the whimsical star. Did I say it? I don't know. I think I will die because I've got 36 hearts. I can just go through here, and I'll be fine. Alright, so 
we're back in here. I'm not gonna really save here because <laughs> I can just get back into Arcus House. So I forgot to do this that last episode. Um but, you know. There. Like one or two damage, but it is a flanking path. Big card like Kazuma has requested via the computer. We will see a big problem. It has been completely ravaged and destroyed. There's a violent explosion all of the sudden. Everything was like this after I came back around. What the heck is going on? I don't know. And where the heck this violent explosion came from? And you'll notice all these sky red um, dragon corpses are here now, because <laughs> the eggs broke and they weren't ready to hatch our life, but look at these guys. The basils are things you want to watch out for here, because their shots do like 10 damage now instead of 1. You do have more health, but it's still a, it's a doozy. Um, but other than that, they aren't really but you know. You really just don't want to be hit. Also, also, things are falling from the ceiling. Don't get crushed. Living Sky Dragon. It shoots fireballs at you. You can kill it with one maximum Spur Blast. <laughs> oh, cry God. I'm glad I... Oh, good. The small ones, when they fall and hit you, do 5 damage, and the big ones do 127, so don't get hit by the big ones. The big ones also stay there. On here, we'll see. Who's up? Just turned into. This is hard here, I need, but you need it at absolute maximum. You can do this. You don't have to worry about dying because it fell on your head. And there are really no save points here, so you kind of have to go through this. Oh, without dying. And I'm trying to keep up the commentary before it explodes. I'm running. Oh. I hit. Oh my lord, guys, that was bad. 30 damage to me. It was horrible on my part. It killed me instantly on our, in our mode. I probably did it the first I possibly could have. At least a uh, test and just kept shooting it. That would work. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. Well, I'm kind of in a bad situation now. Wait. Um, alright. Oh! Take it and run as fast as you can with the booster. You should be able to make it through that hole. <laughs> but since I'm a nice guy, I will show you this thing. Yeah, Max missiles. Not 
Alright, thank god I beat him. <laughs> um, I had so little health there, I just had to concentrate as much as I possibly could. So if you beat them, a save point will come around, all the spikes will disappear, and it will generally be a happier place. Um, I do recommend doing that. Also, don't fall for that falling rock there. Uh, <laughs> We've kind of made it here. Oh, God, this is tough. Um, <laughs> the reason it's tough primarily is because I did that stupid thing with the bomb blew up in my face and did me 30 damage. I'm definitely gonna save here. We are gonna get an important piece of story here. over there. And Kazuma comes out of the wall. Oh, it's you! I didn't know if you were safe or not. I'm the only person here. the sand zone, we sped up preparations for securing the city. Then that misery show showed up. Sue was taken away. And Professor Booster, he disappeared somewhere. The doctor has apparently acquired the flower seeds. But I'm not blaming you. The doctor's victory was certain from the moment he got the demon crown. It's only a matter of time before his Mimiga army is ready to attack the surface. If that does happen, it'll be futile to try and defeat the doctor. Even for you. An escape is possible, but only by using a flying dragon. That's why I came here all on my own for the flying dragon that I need to attach safely. Want to escape with me? Say no. If you say yes, you have just said yes to the bad ending. You can change the Mimiga back into their original state. Destroy the island's core. The island may collapse if you do destroy the core. Is this a dangerous choice for you to make? Either way, I don't know where to find the core. If you really want to try and do it, then I'll wait for you, but I may need to flee the island at any time if it gets too dangerous for me. Now, actually, it's not a for sure bad ending if you tell Kazuma, um, yes to that question. And, um, and you choose yes, then you would get the bad ending. Uh, <laughs> needless to say, or not needless to say, I guess you probably didn't know this. Come down here. Is in fact a house, and I will show what the heck this house is all about using my incredible booster skills. Be careful, there's a hole there. Where'd that husband of mine go? Have you seen my husband? Where are you? This is the little house. Uh, if you remember that little man I pointed out a few episodes ago in the Mimiga Cemetery, that is that is the little woman's husband. If you go get him, um, and bring him back here, you will have the option to trade the blade for an interesting weapon called the Nemesis, which, um, which actually gets worse. It starts off with awesome, it requires 1 XP to level up to each of the levels, um, and it's awesome at level 1. It, it's okay at level 2, and it sucks at level 3. It literally shoots rubber duckies, I'm not even joking. I do that. I'm not sure. I'm not actually going to keep the Nemesis if I do decide to show you guys that quest, because I don't think the Nemesis is as good of a as So we're gonna head up here. This is the outer wall. If you look at your map, you'll see it's gigantic. This is literally the right side of the floating island, which has been confirmed now because we are above the clouds. Um, if you're here, you'll notice that here, which you can head in and find place. So this I present to you, the challenger, in anticipation of your determination. Show me your best. That's something we'll use a little bit later. We've got two enemies out here. We've got hoppers, which are these weird frog things that yeah, we've got these moon ghost things. And for some reason gravity is to the left. Unless you're me, in which case it's normal. Okay. 
the sand crocs. Um, these holes here. Uh, they are blue. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. And grokking things here. Um, just so I don't have to fight them. You just kinda, they, basically the name of the game in the wall is to be careful. Because, well, the enemies don't do that much damage. One mistake, and you can fall all the way down. The balloons do fire damage as evidenced by the fact that I just got hit by one and took five damage. Are at the top. Yeah, out of the wall. And he says, <laughs> You mean you're not a killer robot? You startled me pretty badly by coming in so suddenly. Are you here to save us? So I'm one of the humans who came to study the island. Misery gave me this lovely new Mimiga appearance. I can probably run away, but take a look at me. I'm stuck. You must have climbed all the way up from the wall out from outside. I'm quite a capable engineer, but something or other. I shouldn't have come to such a place like this floating island. Great. So, Mimiga turned this guy into a Mimiga. So basically what we're gonna do here is we are gonna head out here. And you'll notice out here is the it's the theme, it's the cave story main theme. I'm actually gonna end this episode here, but I want to show something important before I do that. Um, and that is this place. The passage question mark. It's a big hole. <laughs> Numachi or something who, who is making them. This is a very important thing. But I haven't really been keeping track of the time, but I am going to end this here. We went we went through the egg corridor and we went through the um outer wall. Uh, what, one boss? It's alright. So thank you guys for watching. And with any luck. But probably no luck because nobody knows me yet. I will see all ya in the next episode. Bye!